You want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth about sports in the state of Michigan? You can't handle the truth! Well, we're giving you the Michigan Sports Truth Podcast, the show that provides research and statistics about all the Detroit and Michigan sports teams, whether fans like it or not, and detects, exposes, and reveals actual and hidden facts and truth that the mainstream media doesn't want you to know. No junk, no entertainment, no homerism, no slappiness, no coddling, no pop culture, no conspiracy theories, no opinions, no shilling, and no fluff. Head over to our website, the Michigan Sports Truth Podcast.com. Follow us on Twitter, Periscope, and Instagram at Michigan underscore truth. And like and share our verified Facebook page, the Michigan Sports Truth Podcast. Also listen to us on Spreaker, CastBox, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts via iTunes, and Spotify. The Michigan Sports Truth Podcast does not represent or defame any of the teams it covers, nor does it represent or compete against any mainstream media in the state of Michigan. It is also not for entertainment or debating purposes. It only detects, exposes, and reveals honest, actual, and hidden truth, facts, and statistics about them. And it is for every sports fan's own good because the truth is out there. And welcome to another episode of the independent edition of the Michigan Sports Truth Podcast. I'm Taylor Phillips. Follow me on Twitter, Periscope, and Instagram at DT2Phillips. That one is long gone! Yes, Tigers baseball is back, except only for 60 games due to the coronavirus. For about the first third of the season, they've obviously haven't been that terrible. Still, they have, still they haven't been that great either. In the past offseason, they acquired a few free agents, including first baseman C.J. Crone, second baseman Jonathan Scope, catcher Austin Romine, the returning outfielder Cameron Maben, and starting pitcher Ivan Nova, who actually hasn't been great, to say the least, even before he got injured. Which leads me to the starting pitching staff, which has been terrible, starting at the top with Matthew Boyd. He has a 10.24 ERA thus far right now. Yeah, you heard that right. A 10.24 earn run average. He can also almost never make it through five full innings every time he starts. Every time he starts. And the Tigers dub him as their ace? This has already become a major laughing stock and a joke with this stupid organization. They also have Tyler Alexander and Daniel Norris, and of course they got Michael Fulmer back, except he's throwing a limited amount of innings per game, and he's off to a slow start. There is nobody in the entire Tigers pitching staff right now that can last five full innings, at the very least. That especially goes for their entire starting pitching staff, especially Matthew Boyd. He keeps he keeps giving so much he keeps giving up so many runs. He had given up seven earned runs each in his last two starts, and the Tigers still have him in their starting rotation. To prove it, to prove it, they start him tomorrow night in Chicago against the White Sox. Owner Chris Silich, General Manager Al Avila, and Manager Ron Garnhire are continuously promoting Boyd and glorifying him as a golden god. They are so high on him. To put the cherry on top of the Sunday, they don't call up Casey Mize or Matt Manning when those guys are ready to play in the majors. Mize and Manning are elite pitchers. Mize, for example, pitched a no-hitter in his first minor league game since he was drafted in 2018. They both have waited too long to play in the majors. And Illich and Avila send them both down to an alternative, alternative training site in Toledo instead. Baffling. Also, C.J. Crone's season... Also, C.J. Crone's season-ending left knee surgery is no excuse. Their offense isn't the main problem, although they're starting to sputter as of late. Their pitching is a lot worse. That's their main problem. That's why they keep losing games. That's why the Tigers are still not making the playoffs, except they might not be able to tank like they did in all their last three seasons. Chris Silich and Al Avila refuse to make any changes to improve their product on the field, as far as I'm concerned, because they don't care. He does not care! The organization continues to be hot garbage, just like Matthew Boyd himself. I cannot root for this team until the Illiches sell it. And I'm not hoping for something terrible to happen, but the only way to do so is when Marion Illich passes away, leaving Chris Illich unsupervised, making him likely, more likely to sell the Tigers to whoever. That's all I have for this short installment of the Independent Edition. Check out our show's website, the Michigan Sports Truth Podcast.com. Like its verified Facebook page of the Michigan Sports Truth Podcast. And 
and follow at Twitter, Periscope, and Instagram at Michigan underscore Truth. I'm Taylor Phillips signing off. Follow me on Twitter, Periscope, and Instagram at DT2 Phillips. Thanks very much for listening, downloading, and sharing. And remember, the truth is out there. DTFN, cut off for now. The Michigan Sports Truth Podcast does not represent or defame any of the teams it covers, nor does it represent or compete against any mainstream media in the state of Michigan. It is also not for entertainment or debating purposes. It only detects, exposes, and reveals honest, actual, and hidden truth, facts, and statistics about them. And it is for every sports fan's own good because the truth is out there. (laughs) 